Hey guys, it's Kevin in my review for the latest new film from Netflix, of course being Tiger Tail. So what Tiger Tail is essentially about is we center on the character of Ping Yu, and he is someone who is kind of in a difficult spot in his life. He uh, in the present day is having a lot of time, hard time uh, connecting with his estranged daughter. And so basically because of that, he is very much in a time of self-reflection, kind of looking back through the years of the choices he's made, what's gotten him to this point, kind of referring back to the time when he was a young teenager in Taiwan and doing what he could to get to America and kind of wondering, you know, how it's gotten him to this point overall, while also simultaneously trying to right the wrongs of what he's done in the present day. So, Tiger Tail overall, I was really excited uh, for this film because, again, I've said it before, Netflix seems to have this pattern where they will release some big heavy hitters, like, towards the end of the year, and then they'll just go back to making mediocre or even really awful schlock, like, say, Coffee and Kareem, or films like, you know, something like, say, the Tyler Perry movie they did early in the year. Just not stuff that correlates at all. It almost feels like it's a different streaming service that's distributing it almost but then eventually they will get back on track and tiger tail seemed to be that film that could very much do that for them this seemed to be the kind of film that i do want them to acquire this seemed to be the kind of film that i do think could actually make them really thrive and i'm happy to say that was exactly the case tiger tail very much lived up to my expectations this is a really well done drama that is definitely different from what i was expecting but definitely a very effective one overall but we're just getting to right now so I I think the thing that really does make this film stick out is the cast here. I think the entire cast is just really great. I think everyone is just doing a really fantastic job in this film. All of these performances, they feel very genuine and authentic. But absolutely, this film is nothing without the masterful work from Sai Ma in this film, who, look, I saw him in uh, The Farewell last year, and I thought he was terrific in that. I thought he did a really great job in that movie. But this is on another level for sure. He is amazing in this film, mainly because Ping Yu is a very complex character. He's made a lot of difficult choices in his life. You know, he was at a point where, you know, he kind of started, he's had a basic rags to riches story, but the path that he's taken might not necessarily have been the best one. And that's kind of what he's doing in this movie. And every single scene with Ma, you feel his regret, but you also feel him realizing that this is, you know, sort of his life, and he needs to do what he can to embrace it. He needs to do what he can to really just think about, you know, what has gotten him to this point, and I really love the way that was handled here. You know, you really do feel uh, how, you know, he wishes that he could have done things better, and I think Ma just did such a great job in this film, especially when it comes to the third act. I think he has some really great material there, and I just really loved uh, the way that he was, uh, that the way that he really just went about this entire film. I was very impressed by his performance here. Definitely one of the best performances of the year I've seen so far, and I, I really love what he ended up doing here. The rest of the cast as well, though, does a really great job. Uh, I especially really liked uh, Chi Lee Hong, uh, who played the Yun pin uh, I thought was really well done because this guy is a lot more lively and he's a lot more fun in that way but you also know what he's going to end up doing and you're just kind of wondering what's going to get him to this point overall and I think the contrast between the two of a ping Yu who is far more you know fun in that way and someone that is a lot more just you know goes about life a lot differently to someone who's far more stern and bitter most of the time i just thought it was really well done and I, I think both actors just did a really great job in communicating that i also really was a pretty big fan of christine co as uh ping's daughter angela i thought she did a really great job in this film you know you really do feel her struggle to connect with her father in that way but you also do feel you know what's got you you also really do feel the years of history uh between the two and i i just thought overall she did a really good job with that here i was very impressed by her role in this film for sure, especially in the third act. You know, she, a lot of this film, she's very soft-spoken and quiet, but there is one scene where she really gets to show off her chops, and I was just really impressed by what she ended up doing here overall. I really liked her work in this film. Um, 
Fiona Fu as well, who plays Ping, uh, Pin's wife, uh, Sen Sen, I thought was also really good. I thought she definitely did a really uh, solid job. But also, uh, Hsing Feng Yo, I was very impressed by in this film, who plays uh, this girl that Pin is attracted to uh, in, in uh, uh, Yuan. I thought she did a really great job here. Just the entire cast, everyone just did a really solid job. I don't really think there was an actor here that didn't seem like they were really into this. And I was just very impressed by pretty much everyone here. But now let's get to the directing and the writing, because that's another thing that I think works really well when it comes to this film. Alan Yang is not a director I've heard all that much about. I know he's been involved in, like, you know, The Good Place and uh, Master of None and things like that, but this is really his first big movie gig, and, uh, you know, he's written before, but he hasn't really directed a film before, and I have to say, it doesn't really show here, because he has a lot of style when it comes to this film. I definitely did feel his passion here. I felt like this is a film that he really did want to make. This film, it feels very raw. It feels very sweet in that way. It's a film that I think is definitely going to touch a lot of people's hearts, and is going, a lot of people are going to relate to, and I think the way that he portrays it, it just feels very authentic. Nothing about this film feels, uh, in, you know, disingenuous in that way. This feels like a very real sort of uh, situation, and I just really like the way that he depicted that here. I was very impressed by his directing within this film, but his writing is what really impressed me uh, when it came here. I thought, I think the screenplay of this film is really great for sure, particularly what it has to say about the character of Pin Yu, because I feel like a lot of people have been in this situation. You know, Tiger Tail is really a film all about looking back on the choices you've made and really just kind of questioning, you know, why you made these choices. How could your life have turned out differently if you had gone about it a different way? And I think that's something that, you know, people that are around Pin's character's age are probably going to end up relating to. But not just Pin's age. I think a lot of us are in this situation where we think of that one choice that we've made. I know I've done this. And we really question, like, what really did I do right here? What did I really do wrong to get me to this point? You know, we're kind of dissatisfied with the way things have turned out, and we're just kind of looking back on, you know, how could things have turned out differently here? How could I have ended up in a better position? Um... And I think that's something he does a really good job with writing here. The way that he tells Pin's story is really well done. You honestly kind of forget where Pin is in the present day because of how well this story is laid out. Uh, you know, you want things to turn out a certain way for Pin, but you realize why it also does end up going in this direction uh, and why things do eventually end up getting hard for him. You know, Pin starts off pretty much as someone that comes from nothing and, you know, he has this opportunity to try to strike it rich and things like that and you can see how things really do start to fall. Uh, things kind of start to f crumble for him and it's, it's unfortunate but I feel like that's something that a lot of people are going to relate to where you have this opportunity to have it all but then you eventually kind of harken back and realize maybe this isn't all it's cracked up to be and that's exactly where Pin is in this film. He's realizing what once seemed like a great opportunity to come to America because that is the main that was his main goal in life he's now kind of realizing isn't as good as it once was and I'm not going to get into the details of it all, but just what they do with that story, I just thought was really well done, and I really liked the way that Yang uh, went about it. Again, I think it's it's a really well done screenplay, and contrasting that with how he is in the present day, I definitely thought was very effective as well. You know, you get the sense that he's not really happy with who he's become, um, and he's wishing that he could go back and undo some things, and I think that's something the film definitely does touch upon very well and what the film does you know with the city of Taiwan um, and the contrast of that with um, his life in America is really well done. When he's in his hometown, yes, things aren't great. He's not financially stable. You know, he his mother's working in this really awful factory job and things like that that's very dangerous, but he feels a lot more lively. He feels like he's enjoying it more. He just has a better time there. Whereas in America, something that was once seen as, you know, 
something that could be this great opportunity. He is a lot more, uh, he, he's, a, he's just a lot more, um, you know, He's a lot more moody in that way. He's not as happy. You you feel him feeling a bit uh, just distraught frequently. And I think the way they went about that was really well done. It's kind of a good way of showing that something that once seemed like a great opportunity it might not have actually been what was supposed to happen to you. You know, maybe things could have gone a lot differently uh, if you would have made a different choice. And that's something that Pin frequently harkens back to in this film. There's many moments in this movie where he will often examine something that he's, you know, thought was pretty concrete. Like, he thought he knew why he was doing it. He thought at the time it was this excellent idea. And now just realizing the fatal errors that he's made along the way. But but he can't take that back. He still made it. And I think that's something else that a lot of people are going to relate to. You know, there are choices we've made and we can't really go back. We wish we could, but we can't. And I think that's something that this film just does a really good job with telling. And I, I was very impressed, like I said, with a lot of the storytelling in this film. The film has a lot to say about culture and youth and, uh, you know, temptation and all that kind of stuff. And I just thought overall this was a really, really well-written film. I was definitely very impressed by the screenplay here, especially when it comes to his relationship with his wife, which without spoiling anything, the way that whole story played out was really not what you're expecting. The way the film starts off, you kind of think one thing in terms of his relationships, and then it really takes this 180 of sorts, and I thought it made a lot of sense. Uh, it It's one of those things where it made the film feel a lot more realistic. It didn't feel like how a typical Hollywood film like this would go. And that's something I was just really impressed by in this film, is that this film went in so many surprising directions in that way. And that, that was definitely one that I was definitely pretty thrown off by. I was really expecting something to happen, and it didn't go that way at all. And I, I, I actually really liked that quite a bit. I think that's something that this film just did a really good job with overall. The cinematography is absolutely gorgeous in this film. Just the first scenes alone of seeing him as this young boy, you know, running through cornfields and things like that, and just being lively. I think just scenes like that alone, they just really, the colors really pop. You really do feel the atmosphere throughout this film. And I think they do a really good job of that, especially the way they flesh out, um, you know, where uh, Pin is from, I thought that was definitely really well done, uh, you know, in, in Taiwanese and things like that. I thought it was definitely very effective. I really liked the way the film went about that. You really did feel like you were a part of it, and uh, I just thought that the cinematography really played a big role in this film. The score as well was fantastic. I really ended up loving the score a lot in this film. It definitely ended up being one of my favorite parts about it. It really kind of looms through Throughout the whole film. It has a very melancholy and bittersweet feeling, and I just really dug it a lot. Um, definitely one of my favorite scores of the year. And the editing, I will say, I do think this film is a little too short, but that being said, I do think it's very well paced as well. I was overall impressed by uh, the editing here. You know, I, I never really found myself bored with this film. I was pretty much into it the whole time, and I think that's something the film did a really good job with. Um, but that being said, there really is one flaw that does unfortunately bring this film down quite a bit. Uh, I wouldn't say like a ton. It's not like Swallow or something where, you know, the film was sitting like at a very high grade and then it just dropped down. But there is one thing that I do think does uh, plague this film just a bit. And that really is, is that because the film is so focused on the flashbacks of Pin's past, the present day storyline just doesn't get as much focus as I'd want it to. You get the sense that Angela and Ping have a very contentious relationship, to say the least. You know, he spent a lot of it just very bitter, you know, uh, not very happy with himself, and he took a lot of that aggression out on her, and you understand that. But there just isn't, I think, enough going on there. I think we should have had just as much focus on that as we do what's going on with Pin in the flashbacks, especially when it comes to Angela's boyfriend, Hayden Sesto's character. Really doesn't feel like a character in this movie. If anything, he feels more like a plot device. He's talked about a lot, and 
I really wish we could have gotten a little bit more insight into her relation, kind of like a contrast with how Pin went about his relationship with his wife, which wasn't very good, obviously. You know, we could have gotten a bit more of a contrast there. And that's just simply not the case. And I get it that they were trying to keep this entirely focused in Pin's perspective. So be because he was so neglectful of, you know, his uh, daughter in that way and wasn't really in her life, it makes sense that we didn't see that. But I do think it was actually a detriment to the film because I do feel there was an opportunity to flush that out a bit more if we would have had a little bit more of an idea of what his daughter is currently like. Because we definitely know what's going on with her, but we don't know so specifically, and I wish we could have gotten a little bit more into that, and I think it just would have made the film just ever so slightly better. Again, Ma is great for what he has in the film, but we focus on the flashbacks a lot more than we do the present-day storyline. The present-day storyline is really more of a subplot in this film than anything, um, and I, I feel like it should have been a little bit more even-handed in that way. That being said, the ending to this film is absolutely perfect. I love the way it was done. It was beautiful. It was poignant. It was just absolutely the right way to end this film, and I really wouldn't have had it any other way. So I really don't have too many complaints there, really at all. I was very impressed by the way they decided to uh, end this film overall. So again, there's a lot to really love about Tiger Tail. I think it tells a very relatable and authentic story that I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy. It's got some fantastic performances, but especially from Sai Ma, who really does uh, shine here as just a real, real talent that I just really am definitely going to be looking for in future films. I mean, I know he's done a lot, but he hasn't really stuck out to me quite like he has here, and I'm definitely going to be looking out for him moving forward. Um, it's got a really beautiful score and some gorgeous cinematography. Again, I do think it could have been a little bit more even-handed. I do think it, it does fall a little bit short in some areas. But considering the Netflix films that we've been getting recently, this is a big step up for sure. This is far closer to what I think Netflix should be doing, um, you know, when it comes to films that they're distributing. This is much closer to what I want them to do. It's absolutely the best Netflix film of the year so far. So I'm definitely going to give Tiger Tail overall an A-. minus. But over, guys, in my review of Tiger Tail, the most guys saw this movie overall. Lift your thoughts, and we'll see you guys in my next video, and we'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.